what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl young back with another video thank you so much for joining me i'm gonna keep today's intro pretty short and sweet so we can just hop right into the video but i will say that if you're not subscribed you already know what to do go ahead and subscribe all right guys so right now my hair is completely dry it air dried uh, while i was doing my makeup so i'm just taking a spray bottle to wet it with water you want to make sure that your hair is completely wet you know before you put your products in put in my hair is my miss jessie's leave-in condition feel free to use whatever brand you like but this is just the one that i've been using it seems to work well for my hair i'm putting a generous amount all over my hair just kind of making sure that all of you know my hair follicles are covered i actually put a little bit too much on one side um and you'll see that a little later when i'm done but it does eventually dry so it's not that big of a deal Next, I'm gonna use my Miss Jessie's Coil Custard and do the same exact thing right after. Just put a generous amount all over my entire head, just making sure that everything's covered. And then I'm gonna use my Eco Style Gel and I'm going to go in and also put that um, all over my head, but as I do it, I'm going to be finger coiling my hair. So just doing that to kind of bring my curls out because the gel is going to lock the curls into place. Um, so that's just what I have to do. I know some people can just kind of put the curl product on and go, but I do need to kind of individually go in. That just works for me and it brings my curls out the best. So I'm going to do this all over my head. Okay, so now I'm just showing you what my hair looks like after I finished finger coiling. And you're gonna see in a second, oh my goodness, there it is, where I OD'd with the product. And I don't know why I didn't see that in person, but it's okay, it dries, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's just, I didn't notice it until I looked back at this film. All right, so the next step is to basically dry your hair. So I'm taking a diffuser and um, just going section by section, just holding it against my head. I usually use a warm temperature for it, not super hot, but not cold, just because I feel like cool air takes even longer to dry. So I usually put the setting on warm and I just take my time. This is probably the most time consuming part of it all. Um, if you really want your hair to be dry, I kind of randomly ended up having somewhere to be in the middle of filming this video so i didn't get to completely dry it with a diffuser i had to let the rest air dry but and which is fine too but i'm just showing you basically the process that you'll have to do and you'll want to just do this until it's dry um you'll see here's just a close-up so you can kind of see the curls and exactly what i'm doing you see the product on my hair, the like white residue, that's basically just, you know, the leave-in conditioner and the coily custard. It does dry clear, so just a heads up if, you know, you don't have enough time to dry it with the diffuser and you do have to air dry, it does dry clear. This was just a shot, just kind of midway through, just so you guys could see a close-up of the curls. So I'm just going to finish drying as long as I can with the diffuser. And then I just kind of brush my little fake baby ears out a little bit. Like I said before, the leftover kind of like white residue that does dry clear. Um, so don't worry about that. I do like to use a little bit of oil sheen just so everything kind of dries nice and shiny. I like for my hair to look really like shiny and healthy. 
all right guys so that's it that's my curl routine that's what i've been doing lately especially since my hair has just started to really start growing out ever since my big chop if you haven't seen that video make sure you go watch it but if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one